It is quarter-final day at what has been a really remarkable European Championship so far. It's been a fine show with star teams, top players lighting up the pitch, and there has been a terrific demonstration of friendship, fellowship, sportsmanship on the streets of the host cities. A showpiece for all things good about football. This yet another contest we hope to be played in that fine spirit. Well, it is, of course, a venue that requires little by way of introduction. It is Celtic Park, affectionately known as Parkhead. We stand for the national anthem of Poland. Each camp here respectful of the other and each also eager to escape the label of being favourite. Well, you can understand that, Peter, from a managerial perspective, having got this far, now is not the time to ease off on players and say, well, well done for getting this this far. The demand for more, greater, higher, has to increase, and that's visible. So we're up and running. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Robert Lewandowski. He's just about the perfect all-round striker. Not least because he can finish equally well with both feet, Peter. It's not all about his finishing, though. He's always on the shoulder, looking for that ball in behind. And that prevents the opposition defence from getting too high or indeed getting too comfortable. Yeah, hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. Now it's Morata. And it's hoisted clear. Oh, good interception. Blaszczykowski, he's got away. It's a promising run he's making on the right. Just brushed off the ball there. Ceballos goes looking. And it's Jordi Alba. And that's sprayed out wide. A chance! He's gone for it! And it's played forward. He's got options out wide. Well, when the options aren't quite present in the box, it's the crosser's interest to, uh, to hold on for the support. Now it's Morata. Suso. And here's Thiago. Morata, Chesney catches it safely, Grzycki, played into space out wide, well read, he sorted that out, Milic shoots! And it's been taken short. It's a brilliant interception. Suso. And it's Morata. 
Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Suso. Still goalless at the moment. Sergio Ramos. Raspilicueta. Suso. And here's Morata. Chance! Well, it's a crossing feast here, but I'd advise them to keep a variety in their play to avoid being found out and stopped. Well, nobody's going to argue with that. Morata. Morata! Goal! Spain! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Great and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Spain have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Zielinski. Played out to the right. Now it's Blaszczykowski. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Zielinski. Spain are looking odds on to go in at the break with their advantage intact. Zielinski. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. And here's Blaszczykowski. Loose ball, who's going to get that? It'll be a throw in. Thiago. Now it's Morata. Brzezicki does well to read it and intercepts. Zielinski. Camille Glick. And it's half time here. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but that it still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Spain come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting, and there is certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. We are already promptly back on the way. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. Blaszczykowski. Suso. Oh, that's neat. That's Thiago. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Milik. Now it's Lewandowski. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Morata is effectively being marked out of the game here. Well, as a presence, Peter, he's the important link, so he attracts most attention. 
And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Keeper's got good distance on that. And the through ball is intercepted. And it's Morata. That's a decent ball. He gets past his man. Up towards the front line. Lewandowski gets it back. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Poland are definitely going about this the right way. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Spot on, Peter. Has a hit! Oh, good effort, he got plenty on that. Yeah, the shot was enabled, Peter, due to such smart control and technique. Ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. It's found its way to him. Well, that's a foul, free kick's been given. Sergio Ramos. Suso. It's come loose. Forward it goes. Out to the left it goes. That's great strength on the ball. Looking to break out here. Now it's Morata. That's not going to make it. Keeper sends it forward. Milik. Ball through needs to be good here. Surely. Chance! Goal! And with that goal comes comfort. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really commit forward and up this team. It was all very well built. Poland have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Spain get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Suso. Goalkeeper's ball. Away from immediate danger. Hoists it forward. Almost nothing left on the clock here. Now just moments away from a semi-final place. Yeah. 
tries to get it forward quickly. And Milik! Oh, he's managed to miss it. And he could have eased the pressure on his team by taking them within one of an equaliser. Another change here. Raspilicueta. Thiago. Now it's Morata. Lovely feet. This is... And the finish! away what a great finish but how about the touch it just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it and the rest became a formality Spain take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Klick. Milik. Camille Klick. Milik. He's had a goal! Sticks it away! Really outwitted one-on-one. -on -one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Yeah, he just calmly faced the keeper and waited. It became a, a who blinks first situation. And for me, there was never any doubt as to who was going to come out on top. So, is this the start of a comeback? Paul shows there will be three extra minutes. And here's Morata. He's made sure that that won't get through. Clears it out of harm's way. And that's it. So now do you believe? You have to. Just two more steps to glory. Your reflections then, Jim. Spain won thanks to a, a disciplined game plan. Homework provided the groundwork and it exploited an obvious central weakness.